All right, we're going to solve these two linear equations. Both of them have decimals. All right, let's do the first one. x plus 4.86 equals 3.19. So we need to isolate x, so we want to subtract 4.86 from this side, so we'll only have x on the left-hand side, which means you'll also have to do the same thing on the right-hand side of the equation. Now, notice what I have over here is 3.19 minus 4.86. So I have a positive and a negative number here, right? I'm adding a positive to a negative. So I sort of need to go over on the side to do that arithmetic. You take the absolute value and take the big one minus the smaller number. And then you know there's more negatives, right? Because negative 4.86 that's a larger absolute value than um, 3.19. So you know the answer over here is going to be negative, but let's, we need to subtract 4.86 minus 3.19. There's a lot of ways you might know how to subtract with decimals, but this is what I get when I subtract. So this is negative 1.67. So looks like that is the solution. All right, now let's make sure that's correct. So let's check it. So the original problem, x point, x plus 4.86 equals 3.19. And this is how I like to check. I make this sort of t-bar. I'm going to plug in negative 1.67 for x and see if I get the same number on both sides if I simplify. So negative 1.67 plus 4.86. Now, of course, you could do this in your calculator as well, um, if you're allowed to use a calculator. All right, so let's do that. Negative 1.7, I mean, negative 1.67 plus 4.86. Now, this is going to be positive because 4.86 is bigger than negative 1.67. Again, I'm adding a negative and a positive number, so the positives went out here. And so I'm going to just do my arithmetic over here. subtracting, and I do get 3.19 if I subtract. Okay, then we go to the other side, and there is no variable, so to plug negative 1.67 in, I just have 3.19. So that means my solution there, negative 1.67, must be correct. And this is the formal way of writing the solution. It means we've checked it, and we are sure that is the correct answer. All right, let's go over the next one. So we have x minus 8.6 equals negative 13. So to isolate the x here, I want to add 8.6 to both sides. So I just get an x on the left-hand side. But whatever I do on the left side of the equation, I have to do on the right side of the equation. Now, notice I don't have a decimal where the negative 13 is. If you don't see it, you could put a decimal point there and a zero afterward. Okay, so I see the left side's going to be x equals. And again, I'm adding a positive and a negative number. But in this instance, the larger absolute value is up on top. So I know my answer is going to be negative, right? There's more negatives. And I could just subtract as it is as opposed to going over to the right and doing it. You've got to be careful with this zero. A lot of people make a mistake and just put 0 0.6. But, let's see, I'm going to do it using uh, this method. The more common method people use to subtract. So 10 minus 6 is 4 after I regroup here. And then 12 minus 8 will give me 4. You could also put negative 13 plus 8.6 in your calculator. And hopefully you will get this answer. All right, so let's go ahead and check this. The original is x minus 8.6 equals negative 13. I'm going to plug in negative 4.4 for x, and I have this minus 8.6. All right, so now remember, this means negative 4.4 plus negative 8.6, so I'm really adding two negatives. My answer is going to be negative. I'm just going to go over here out on the left to do my arithmetic. I'm going to add up here. 6 and 4 is 10, so I'm going to carry. 
and I get 13.0. But of course, 13.0 is the same thing as negative 13, right? I mean, negative 13.0 is the same as negative 13. And on the right hand side, I also add negative 13. So everything checks out. Again, since we've checked it, we're sure that solu the solution, the formal way of writing it, would be in braces. Just in case your teacher wants you to have it in braces. Uh, many people are fine with just writing x equals negative 4.4 and putting a box around it.